Hi, this is Scott Shepard, Photo Media Instructor, Lake Area Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota. And this is a brief tutorial on ways that you might organize your Aperture Library. And I know that organization is a very personal thing. And people who know me know that I am not the most organized person. But when it comes to my photos, uh, it's pretty good, although it needs some work. Uh, first of all, I have a variety of different Aperture Libraries. Uh, lately, I've been keeping one for each year. So at the beginning of a new year, I start a new library. You'll note that right now I don't have 2013 here, and I don't have 2012 either, because this is a work in progress. And I haven't really gotten those libraries copied to this drive, which is a separate 2 terabyte drive, which is, by the way, backed up and backed up. So um, there's a lot of security in terms of how I keep my photos. But let's take a look at my 2012 library. Uh, in 2012, uh, if you count the photos, I took uh, about 19,000 photos, and they are all in this library. I have 163 projects. And as you note, over here on the left-hand side, when I import photos, I import them into a project that starts with the year name and then the date numerically, so that uh, when I sort these, and these are sorted by name, um, they show up chronologically, which to me makes sense. Obviously, you could find other ways that you might want to sort these. Now, if you'll notice that from the beginning of 2012, starting with uh, the first photos that were posted or that were taken, with, uh, and the last photos that were taken, Uh, that it starts to be a little bit um, awkward to go from the top to the bottom. So I'm just going to show you that um, one of the things that I will do with this library just to further organize it is that I'm going to create folders for each of the months of the year and then I'm going to put these individual projects inside that folder. I'll show you how I do that with um, January. So I'm going to go up to New Folder and it ends up down here, I'm going to put 2012-01 January. Now, if this does the right thing, it should go to the top, more or less. There it is right there, and it's empty. And I'm just going to take, and, uh, and I'm not necessarily going to do this to all of them. Actually, there you go. That's all three from January. Not a real busy month. And I've now put those inside a folder, and I can collapse that folder. And I would do that with all of the rest of these. And in fact, I might do January, February as one folder and so on, so that I would only have six folders over here. And so that's one way that you can organize your folder, um, your, your uh, projects. Now, the other thing that I want to note here is that, and let's just take... Uh, uh, this set of pictures that was taken in Washington. Uh, you'll notice that I have a, small, a smart folder here, and the small, smart folder is really trained to find any photo that is keyworded with iPhone. And so I have a separate um, album, as it's called here, that is just for the iPhone fo photos that I took. Remember that you can have uh, any one picture in any number of albums, including a smart album, but you can only have the photo in one project at a time. So if I drag this photo to here, uh, it's going to leave this particular project and go into the other one. So um, be careful about that. So I guess that's a little bit of an overview on how I organize my Aperture Library. Hope this helps. Thanks for listening.